Um, February is American Heart Month. And so what we'd like to do is introduce to the public the risk factors. Um, since um, heart, um, heart disease, mainly coronary heart disease, is the number one um, cause of death right now in the United States, we like to pe get to people to know when to start um, worrying about their risk factors. We're starting to see people as young as 20 years old starting to have heart attacks and heart problems. So therefore, knowing your risk factors and what to do um, can help not only you at a young age, but also as we get older, that's what we want to do is to preserve because now we're in prevention. There's basically three different class of um, risk factors. Um, you have major risk factors and contributing risk factors, but the risk factors, you have things you can't change. Those big ones are your age, can't help your age. Um, the older you get, the more prevalent um, heart disease gets and your um, risk increases. Your gender, men have um, a higher chance and more risk of coronary disease than women, but also women's very high because um, coronary disease is still the number one cause of death in women also. Even postmenopausal men still have a higher chance of heart disease than women, but women's risk increase after um, menopause. Um, and then third is your heredity race. Um, <clears throat> you, you can't help what your parents gave you. You were born with your um, genetic makeup. So therefore, if your parents have risk, you know, it's usually first degree relatives and parents. Those are your risk factors. And also um, race, African-Americans, Native um, Native um, Americans and also um, some Asian cultures have higher risk than um, others, so therefore you can't help your race either. So those are the three major ones you can't change. The major ones you can change, you can work on, and what we can help you with medications, number one is tobacco. Um, tobacco use, cigarette smoking, cigar smoking, any type of tobacco will, all, will accelerate your atherosclerotic, your heart disease process, and that's one thing you can change by stopping. Next is blood pressure. You may be born in your genetic makeup to have high blood pressure, but we have medications that can change it. So that's why we work hard in preventing high blood pressure and things in the future. Also next is would be cholesterol. We have you know high cholesterol, we have multiple medications on the market now to lower your cholesterol because we know the lower we can get, the better chance we have for preventing an event, a heart attack or something in the future. Next, a very big topic would be diabetes. Um, Diabetes can be controlled multiple ways. We have, um, you have weight reduction, exercise, but also there's multiple medications now out there to control your diabetes. But di um, diabetes is also one of the major risk factors. So therefore, that's something we can contribute to. Um, then they got other things. That, then they got another section. They're not major risk factors, but it's other things which which promote the major risk factors and make it worse on you if these aren't controlled. Number one is your activity, physical activity. We know obesity uh, contributes to a lot of different problems with your heart and just your whole t total well-being. So living an active lifestyle will always make things a lot better. By increasing activity and losing weight, not only will you help your blood pressure, you'll help your cholesterol, you'll help control diabetes or prevent diabetes, and all that all lowers your major risk factors. So therefore, physical activity is a major one. Next is diet. You know, <clears throat> we... Um, Everyone always promotes a healthy diet, and there's, ten, there's a whole bunch of different diets out there, basically just cutting down the amount of you know, saturated fats, watching the amount of you know, simple sugars, and decreasing the amount of cal caloric intake. That plus physical activity will help you prevent a lot of the major risk factors and hopefully cut down your risk of heart disease. And then also stress. There's no way we can cut stress out of our lives every day, but if you could just take back stress a little bit, um, try to do things to relieve stress. Great way to relieve stress is with exercise um, or just getting out and getting away from your everyday life. That might be other ways to release um, the stress. And by doing that, we'll lower blood pressure and other things that would help you try to maintain um, great cardiovascular um, health.